Hi, Gracie. Hi, Willow. I know you're there. I am loving our barn. Messy to some, but beautiful to me. All right, let's do it, ladies. <laughs> there is no sitting. There will be no sitting until the farrier arrives. Let's go. Let's go. I only got mine. I'm sorry. That was bad planning. It's because I had the camera. No, we're going to the other barn. Hi. Hi, Pam. All right, so look at Penny. She is clean. She is fresh. There's not a... Oh, there's some gunk in her eye. I actually have to go buy shavings today, which reminds me, I have to go buy shavings today. So I'm going to research my options locally and see what I can get for her. I don't even know that she's allergic to shavings. I suspect she... I suspect she just gets them in her eye because she has an eye abnormality where she is ooh, missing ooh, ooh, ooh. part of her eyelid. What? Um, so, my dream. Um, I dreamed that Penny needed a chiropractor when she came. And um, after, like the day after Penny got a chiropractor, I did the sin job and she was perfect. Oh. Didn't pin her ears or anything. I love that dream. Tell them your dream yesterday. Yeah, we got robbed. We got robbed. A lady came with a... Knife. Knife. And how did you how did you get her to how did you unarm her? How did you disarm her? I said that I'll give her all the food that she wants. Yeah. <laughs> so if you disarmed a crazy lady with a knife. I mean that's what but, I would want. But how big was the knife? <laughs> yeah, like Gabby could take it if it was little. Who was there? Was it just you or was it all of the us? The blade and, a horse. and the knife? The blade and the knife? Or Oh gosh. The knife blade. So the blade and the knife is that big? Okay, I have not that big. Okay, I'm so. A turkey stabber. <laughs> I have a nice thing. All right, wait, so who was there in your dream? Just you? And a horse. But what kind of old Just lady you and a horse? It? Yeah. Was it an old lady or a young lady? Young one. Oh. So probably somebody's gonna stab you in the back. That's probably what that dream means. Stab you in the back about a horse. Maybe it's your sister because she does want your horse. She's coming for your horse, Sophie. Yeah, throw it in. That's a lot of hay. That is like breakfast. Is four yeah, this is that is not four flakes. That's, a flake. That's like ten flakes. That's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Don't put it all out there. So the farrier's coming. So we're gonna feed them inside so that they don't look like that mud puddle when they come in. Gabby got hay. Gabby's got hay neck. Nothing worse in life than hay neck. Hey, Neck, but kitties make it all better. Yes, they do. She comes down for her morning pet every morning. When it was just the two ponies, I used to come down here. By yourself. Morning, yeah. By myself. Now I got Penny. And she would come up and say hi. She wouldn't let me pet her, but she would come up and say hi. Okay. All right, let's do it, ladies. Let's do it. Wait, I got to brush my girl. So I wanted to, before we get, before this day gets crazy busy, I wanted to tell you guys that a lot of you suggested I watch Warwick Schiller. And every time I try and watch him, I'm like, I do not understand you. We do not speak the same language. I could not even handle it. I'd watch like for five minutes and then I'd be like, okay, I can't watch it anymore. And then uh, I, and then a video showed up in my feed the other day. I forget what it was about. And I watched it and it was only a short video. We only talked for a few minutes and it made so much sense to me. And I was like, wow, that makes sense to me. And then another one showed up and that one made sense to me. And then a few more showed up and I could not watch them. Um, but yeah, I'm learning a lot from him. I'm learning that a lot of his ways are my ways naturally, if that makes sense. The natural side of him really speaks to my soul. Anyway, let's get ready. We are going to the other barn. It's Farrier Day. We're gonna do there first and we'll meet you guys there.
we are headed out. To, we changed our routine today. Today we are going to do the horses at the barn first this morning. For those of you guys who don't know, our farrier comes from far away because he's the best. And he does our big group. So all the people that were at Fiona's barn long ago, he comes and does all of us. He does all of our horses. And so he goes in a big circle and comes this way and does all of our horses. Like one big happy barn, even though we're not all at the same barn anymore. So we're gonna go there and we're gonna do that. And then he's gonna go do somebody like, then he's gonna go do Fiona's horses. And then he's gonna come back around and do our horses at home. Okay, the first time he meets Penny also. I am going, I am going to tell you I'm finally gonna tell you the story of what happened to Chino last summer. You guys know he was lame for 12 weeks. It was on no Two months. Two months. He was lame for eight weeks. And all of summer. All of summer. The yeah. only like the only summer we had him for. Yeah. Lame. Yeah, all, all summer. Good. I'm gonna explain I'm why. Gonna I'm gonna explain high. how it happened. I'm gonna explain how you should always trust your instincts even when everybody is against you even when professional people are against you always trust your instincts because god puts in your heart what you need to know so i'm gonna explain all that when we get to the barn hi good morning all right so the we are here the farrier is a little bit late today which is fine but the girls are out there looking for finn <laughs> it's farrier day and there's not a horse in sight so a lady was telling me that she was here the other day and she saw three horses with all the same blankets on out there wrestling each other. Three horses with the same blankets. Hmm. Wonder who that was. Probably wasn't you. It was probably Tex and Storm and Finn maybe. Maybe you. Are you a player? You don't play, do you? They're going to wait in here. How hard was it for you to catch... So when we went to catch Chino, he was at the round bill there. Yeah, then they all went running? No, he was the only one there other than the, the, blind, there. the new blind horse mm -hmm. that was here before. It was in the shelter, but the horse stalked us. And it was like they were best yeah, friends the, with the him. The new one was right there with Chino. He likes our horses apparently. Oh, because our horses are kind. Chino, he walked over there and he followed us when we were going out the gate. He wanted to be with us. Um, so, Gabby went around the mud and tried to go around the mud so she doesn't get sucked so in. Water catching Chino. And I was like, oh, this would oh, be Gabby a good hard run. Um, so, I tried to go one way and it was like up to here on my boot. And then this boot decided that it got stuck, stuck and decided to come off. Were you freaking out? Well, now I have... <laughs> And I had to step in horse poo. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I had to throw my halter on the ground. Oh, gosh. Gabby says she knows half the size of a moose. A little bit tall. Like a little oh, bit no, more moose. More than half. Yeah, moose are about his size, actually. Moose are actually tall. Yeah, Taller I know. Than him. Well, he yeah, is tall. This tall. Oh, I don't know. I think that they're about. How high their go up. Yeah, some. Tall. Some, yeah, for sure. Close to Here. Them. Maybe he's like the si si size of a girl moose. Maybe he's the size of a girl moose. No, and he's like the size of a baby moose. Oh, maybe you're the size of a baby no, moose. Storm's the, Storm or Finn's the size of a baby moose. Finn is. Well, I'm glad we don't ride moose. Anybody that's been following us since the summer knows that Gabby, we bought this horse for Gabby in January. This big, gorgeous, beautiful horse with no shoes. He has flat feet. He's part thoroughbred. Okay, we go we get it. So everything was going great until summer came and we started transitioning the horses onto grass. They would go out an hour a day for a week and then they went out two hours a day for a week and then the next jump was going to be four hours a day for a week. So we did the one hour, we did the two hours and a couple days after he went to four hours, Chino turned up lame. Just a weird lame, both his front feet only kind of slightly but obviously noticeable. And I said, I'm pulling him from the grass. Like he, I bet you he has laminitis. I bet you. And everybody said, no, he does not have laminitis. So the vet was here a couple of times. Farrier was here a couple of times. And this lameness issue went on for the entire summer, the entire summer. And throughout the whole entire summer, I kept saying, it's laminitis. I know it is. It happened the minute I changed him to four hours. Like a couple days after I changed him to four hours, he went lame. And the vet said, no, this big, 
horse like that he does not look like a lameness issue at all and our and i said i fought and fought and i kept saying to my trainers i'm taking him off the grass and everybody said do not take him off the grass sure enough grass season ended doesn't the horse stop being lame sure enough the fairy was doing his feet one day after 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 grass season and he said you know i think this guy foundered and I was like, really? He did founder. So it was just a low grade founder. It was a founder flare. I don't know. Call it what you want. But I knew in my heart that it was the grass that was making him lame. And so Gabby and I vowed he's never going to be on full grass for the rest, like forever. Like we're never, we're not doing that again. Even if other people tell me, put him on grass, put him on grass, it's not going to happen. I believe in my whole heart that he was foundering and nobody knew. And nobody paid attention like imagine being a horse and struggling and people not listening to you it would be really hard but anyway so uh, he was not able to get his shoes off at all until now today he finally got his shoes off we're going to try him see how he does hopefully he'll be able to go back to normal and we can avoid this issue next year but anyway i wanted you guys to know the story about what actually did happen to chino this summer what i believe happened we're gonna see again this summer but anyway that is it that's it i wanted to tell you guys what happened all right so storm got something new today too show them so so now stormy easy. boy is having leather pads we are back at home first one using the fireplace is sophie because it is cold. cold i know also we have a little miss lexi here when we got here i found her and um ollie cuddled up on the blanket in the in the in the arena what's with you and not remembering names i'm old sophie when sometimes you call me gabby i know it's because when i have i'm a hyper person i'm a hyper person and i always have 10 thoughts going through my head at the same time gracie's out there getting done and then we're going to do willow and then we're going to see penny get her feet done for the very first time on the day by day farm couldn't video when the farrier was here because i don't know it just seems rude but anyways I was worried about like how she's gonna be like you know you guys have seen her okay I'll be there in a sec you guys have seen her she's like kind of grouchy kind of pins her ears when she doesn't like something and I was a bit worried and he was kind of like nervous I guess she must always be nervous of new horses I told him what she was like and so he's standing in the corner I walked her out put her in a cross eye she's excellent and like she has such good ground manners you guys so popped her in the cross eyes and I told him how like I just have to walk toward her with my hoof pick and she lifts up each foot as I walk toward it. Lifted up each foot, held it right up high. She looked like the calmest horse. Hi, never, never pinned the air. She just was like standing there like, like so perfect. She was so good. She was good. He said she has good feet. Woohoo! And we are done from Farrier finally for a day. I swear I'm still not warm. I'm still frozen. No joke. I got Sophie in the kitchen. Oh, she's feeding her puppy. Gabby in the living room. And this afternoon, I've been doing something that I've been meaning to do. And one of you guys keeps reminding me about it. So basically, a few years ago, YouTube went through this big, huge thing at Christmas time where they said, we are not gonna, like, you can't publish any videos that have bugs in them, kids in bathing suits in the thumbnail. Like, there was this whole list of things that they didn't want published on YouTube. So... I went back into our YouTube videos and I privated all the videos that I was worried about. Anything that had feet in it, anything that had um, in the thumbnail, anything that had bugs in the thumbnail, anything that had kids in swimsuits. Like, there were so many things. I'm just going to try and pull them up here. So I have like 200 videos, part of our history, every single day of life that... I have privated and so many of them I was just watching a few of them I have our, like our baby squirrels when we raise baby squirrels in them and sitting on the porch and getting them to come to us outside and anyway somebody was asking me could I unprivate some of our videos and so that's what I've been doing I unprivated about 20 videos today so if you are a connoisseur of the day by day vlogs and you want to go back and watch some things that happened previously that were privated uh they are released now they are re-released and then i'm gonna go and try this year it will be my goal because i want to have those memories i'm gonna try and go in and change titles and change thumbnails so that you guys can watch go back and watch parts of our um our journey again if you want to but anyway i just want to thought i'd tell you guys that that there are more videos released today if you're bored on a Christmas day, if you're bored during the Christmas holidays, maybe you can go in and watch them if you want. Up to you, but I just wanted to let you know. All right. We are at the barn again. I barely got warm Whew. and fed, and oh then we're God. at the barn again. Are you hot? 
Your hair be looking kind of fuzzy. Uh, well, my helmet's going to cover it. Good thing. You should be putting your hair up. I also have my sound amplification system. And then we got trouble one and trouble two over here. Did you know that Gabby started taking vitamins? No. They are for her face. They're supposed to make the... And, your, and they make you energetic. And they make her so energetic. You definitely need more energy. And you know what else? They make her happier. So today, well, two people... Uh, vitamins today too, isn't that weird? You got vitamins today too? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's nuts! Oh, Sophie has gummies. Well, but the ones that I give to Gabby, Kaylee, you'll not believe it, but two people said to me today, wow, what happened to Gabby? She was kind to me. Not that she, not that she was kind. Not that she was kind, but that she talked. Talked to them. Oh, yeah, I see it. I don't. It's an odd shaped heart. It's like Penny. Penny, I'm sad to say, Finn looks old lately. Oh, it's just the uh, mud it's maturing. It's maturing. Finn, are you maturing? He's like, uh -oh. no. Definitely not. Finn, Finn is not being ridden today. Oh, yeah, Finn is being ridden. Did, what are you eating? Beef, is it jerky. beef jerky. So this is one thing that Kaylee's dad makes. I will eat it after I got gum in my mouth, but I will try it. Alright, so we are done our lessons. Everybody's just left the barn and we are saying Sophie, Sophie just rocked this lesson, you guys. Like, it was crazy. She is turning in like she's going through everything that Gabby went through when Gabby went through so it. Confused was because she thought I was gonna fall. I don't even know how high that last jump was. But anyway, the sound amplifier that we got from Amazon worked amazing. I'm gonna put the link in the description box again. Brandon liked it, we all voted yes for it. It it's not. It doesn't make his voice like so loud across the way that everybody can hear him across the street. It just amplified it just perfect. It was, it was really good, I love that. Anyway, that is it for today. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that